It's the Joel Shit Show featuring Joel Shit. Hi and welcome to the Joel Shit Show. I'm your host Joel Shit. So uh, Savannah was having some trouble, and she, well, it's springtime and she's a fluffy cat, so you figure it out. Yep, she's hacking up hairballs, and we gave her the special hairball control formula cat food, but and it helps. But when you're a fluffy cat you have a lot of fur. So today she hacked up a hairball and it was so odd. I went to clean it up and it looked just like puke except it was the color of her fur instead of the color of her food. And then I went to scoop it up and it weighed nothing because it was just fur. Because you know, fur isn't very dense. So it was kind of funny. It was like practice puke because it was so light so you could like, you know, try new tricks with it and stuff because it didn't take as much effort because it wasn't as heavy. I went for the standard, you know, plastic crinkle bag scoop. I'm not much for trickery when it comes to cleaning up after my cat. And uh, my roommate, being what my roommate is, decided that the solution to the shedding and the throwing of hairballs was to give her flea treatment. Now granted, I got no problem with giving cats flea treatment. So, you know, it's it's like taking vitamin C after you're already sick. You need to take it every day, and even then the, the jury's out on whether that really makes a difference. But it doesn't hurt to do it. Just do it every day. You know, flea treatment you're not supposed to do every day anyway. You should just do it regularly. I don't know how often flea treatment's supposed to be done. So now she's freaking out and running around and looking like a spaz, and uh, she doesn't know what to do. And it's because the flea treatment smells like something, which is probably why the fleas go, oh God, except she doesn't have any fleas. That's not the point. So like I picked her up and I was like, boy, you smell like flea treatment, Savannah. And she looks at me and she goes, I know, I know, I, I do smell like flea treatment. And I was like, well, we're in agreement then. You smell like flea treatment. And then, you know, from there we just moved on. But uh, so usually by this time she's already taking a nap, one of her four naps, but she's sitting in the living room kind of washing up and she's, you put the flea treatment on the back of their neck because that way they can't get to it because cats can wash just about everywhere. But the reason why cats like being pet up here and up here and back here is because that's where they can't reach easily. I mean, they can do the licking thing and the this thing, but it's a pain in the ass for the cat. And so she loves it when you touch this. So she's trying it out she's like, nee, 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 and it's not working and she's really frustrated. So. It's fun to watch her frustrated, but I don't know. It, it's not right for her to suffer, damn it. That's all the time we have for today. Visit us on the web at joelshitshow.com. Email joel at joelshitshow.com.